Hello everyone, I'm Father Cooper and this is Lucy. And welcome to another edition of Cooking with Father Cooper, our saintly summer series. Today's saint is Saint who, Lucy? Saint Joseph. Saint Joseph. And so today we have a special treat. We're going to make Saint Joseph's work table. And that is going to be so exciting. Saint Joseph was actually my confirmation saint. And so I have a special devotion to Saint Joseph, the uh, universal patron of our church and certainly uh, a great saint as he was the protector of the Holy Family. So we're going to make this work table as we celebrate St. Joseph the Worker. And so Lucy, as we're going to make the St. Joseph work table, what is the first thing we need to do today? Head to the stove! Head to the stove, everyone! All right, Lucy, so we're at the stove, and the first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that it's on low, and we need to melt six tablespoons of butter. And so we've already got that going, and it's all nice and melted at the bottom of our pot. All right, everyone, so we have our butter, it's melted. Have your heat on from low to medium. And then we're gonna take 16 ounces of marshmallows and very slowly we're going to begin to mix them into the butter. Doesn't that sound exciting, Lucy? It does, it really does. So we're going to do very slowly. So we're gonna put about half the bag first. Then we then probably gonna, would mix it? Yes, we're gonna mix it. See how it's getting yellow? It's from the butter. So then we're going to add the Little rest more. of our bag. We're just going to do it very slowly so we don't spill any. And so That's then we're going to keep mixing. Don't stop stirring. Keep going. And our marshmallows are beginning to all melt together like one big marshmallow glob. So once it is all liquefied and melts together, it almost looks like an icing. Yep. As you can see. I wish it was icing so we can eat it. Then you know you are finished with this step. And we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla to our butter and to our marshmallows. Awesome. And I'm going to stir this in. Now we add six cup of Cocoa Krispies and add it very slowly. Okay, very slowly. So Lucy's going to add those Cocoa Krispies in and I'm going to stir them all into our marshmallows and our butter. Whoa! So we keep adding and we keep stirring. And so while it's still warm and we're mixing in together, we're going to add in one cup of butterscotch chips. Yummo! I love mm, those so much. Smells delicious. Okay, so next we want a pre-greased pan. So all of our parents and grandparents know why we need that to make sure that we can get our work table out at the end. And then we take a 9 by 13 pan and we begin to pour in our crispies. Sticky! and our marshmallow. Very sticky, I can see. I don't even know if I'm doing this right. And so once we get our crispies in, we push them down. Till they're nice and flat. So once it's all nice and flat, we're going to take our pan and we're going to set it aside for 30 minutes to one hour for it to cool. So we are doing the tools of St. Joseph for his work table. And each of the tools represent a title that St. Joseph holds. We're making this out of white fondant that has some yellow food coloring in it. If your fondant becomes a little too difficult to work with, all you have to do is place it in the fridge so that it will make it more easier to work with kind of like the texture of Play-Doh. And the ruler represents, of course, that St. Joseph was the head of the Holy Family. And we are called to remember that we rely on St. Joseph's intercession to be the head of our families as well. And so we take our edible ink marker and we're going to place in our little lines. And so as we're making our tools, we have our ruler that we're placing on our workbench. And Lucy, uh, what are you making over there? Uh, I am making the safety goggles. The safety and, goggles. And I have blue and gray fondant. 
Did it come like that or did you have to add food color? I have to add food color. You had to just add food like you. color. And what do the safety goggles represent? Protector of the Holy Church. All right, so we have the safety goggles says because St. Joseph is the protector of the Whoa. Holy Church. And so we're doing the saw. And the saw is the symbol or the, of St. Joseph's title, is Terror of Demons. Joseph is smart and knows good from bad. So let's get rid of the bad stuff. And you can place it right on the work table. The hammer represents St. Joseph most strong. Joseph is strong because he trusts in God. Lucy has the nail, and we're going to place the nail on the table because the nail represents the obedience of St. Joseph, and when the nail is used into blocks of wood, they stay together. He was obedient to the call of God in his life. And the table is also symbolic of St. Joseph, who is also the model of artisans, those who create beautiful artwork um, and crafts. And so we have all of our tools on our wonderful work table. And now it's time to do what? Eat it. Eat it. All right. And as we celebrate St. Joseph, we have our uh, cocoa rice crispy treats with our instruments that St. Joseph used on the work table. And so shall we try it? There we go. That is so good. It is. It is. So. Are they gooey, Lucy? Mm -hmm. I think Lucy likes them. And so we have made our wonderful treats. And so as, as we sign off today, I say I'm Father Cooper and this is? Lucy. And we say to you, bon appetit. Have a wonderful day, everyone. See you next time. Can't wait to explore more fun recipes like this? Subscribe to our YouTube channel where you'll find more episodes of Cooking with Father Cooper, access our full library of inspirational homilies, and so much more. Divine Mercy Parish, loving mercifully, living Marian.